All right, boys and girls, five-minute lessons, rational exponents. Okay, well, let's understand the word first, rational. Okay, well, ratio is in that word, and a ratio is a fraction. So this is what happens when we have fractions as exponents. Now, it's important you understand what this means. It just means this, 125 to the first power, the cube root of it. That's what this means, okay? So if you were ever on a calculator and you didn't know how to take, let's say, the cube root of 125, well, there's two ways to do it. So let's, let's show you that, okay? You could do uh, math and then 4, but that's kind of annoying, okay? Or without hitting math, you can do 125. This is just starting to get to me. But I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it. Just It's just causing you guys. All right, now look. If you, It's time to start learning how to use this fractions button because it's going to come up for the next two. So you can just do 125 to the one-third, and look, it gives you the same answer the exact same way. So just remember, that's all this is. Uh, not that that makes it easy, but you've done this stuff before. Okay. Um, so I don't know. You could do this in your calculator, but what, what does this really mean? Well, it's the square root of 7 to the first times the square root of 7. Well, that's just 7. Or, I mean, you can think about it as the square root of 49 equals 7. So a lot of these, they're going to simplify out pretty easily, but you can just do them in the calculator. This ends up being the cube root or the, sorry, the square root of 3 times 75, which is 225, um, which is 15, okay? So when we get to these, well, this is just the same thing as the fifth root of b to the first. You can have b to the first if there you want. And this, well, remember, the bottom goes on the outside. So this is the cube root of z squared, and this would be the fourth root of a times b. Okay, now, if you have m to the 2.4, well, we might have to hit up the calculator. So let's do, let's hit the calculator again. We need to change 2.4 to a fraction. So hit 2.4, and then go to math, turn it into a fraction. There's other ways to do this, but this is easy. 12 fifths. So now we just Go back and we write that. Where is it at? Sorry. We write that as m to the 12 fifths. Well, remember, the bottom goes on the outside. So that is the fifth root of m to the 12th. This would be the same thing as t. Let's see, 1 over t to the 2 sevenths. Well, this is going to be hard. So this is 1 over the seventh root of t squared. I'm running out of room. I'm sorry. I can't even read that. Uh, and then what you'd have to do is multiply each side, or the top and the bottom, by the seventh root of t squared because we're rationalizing the denominator. And so our final answer for this would be the seventh root of t squared over um, t to the, oh no, 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 no. Well, okay, this is a little trickier. Come, I'll make my own little side video about number 20. Everything else we've done up to this point is good, so it's a good time to stop the video. We're running out of space and time. Boom!